If you like Rocco's kit and you like stage control characters, then this is the character for you. I recommend him, and this is a guide for Rocco. Let's get to it. Um, I'll teach you how to play as Rocco and like how to do combos with most of his moves and I'll teach you how to beat Rocco um, this map I recommend because he does best on uh, large stages with no platforms I mean if he has platforms if you have platforms on the map it's not a big deal but as long as it's uh, big or like kinda big then he'll do pretty good on it uh, we're going over his light ground moves first we're going to be talking about jab. Jab does 4 damage each time you hit someone with it. Um, it's pretty good to combo if you have slime. Like you can do that. You can, yeah, that's like a kill confirm that I showed you in my second Rocco combos if you haven't seen it yet. Um... But yeah, you want to use this move as a out of shield option and get off me kind of thing. So like if they're if they're all in your face and some or something like that, you could just jab Pugs. and they'll probably Pugs. stay away from you. And you could just spam Spunky and stuff like that. Um, next move is forward tilt. Does eight damage each time you Pugs. hit them. Uh, I recommend this. I recommend using this move for poking people's shields when they're near the ledge because it's great for pushing their shield and if you push their shield they go in this tumble animation and you can just like uh, forward strong or down strong something like this and sometimes that would spike depends but yeah you can like do forward strong or down strong either of those two I recommend but yeah it's good for the for people who are shielding near the ledge uh, next we got up tilt this is probably this is probably his best um, tilt in the game well, his tilt. It's not been down tilt. Um, it's a good combo tool if you know how to land it. I can't really land it that way. Well. I'm trying to work on it. Yeah, you can do stuff like that. Realistically, people can recover from that, but SpongeBob's recovery is just not that good. Um. But yeah, you can. I usually combo with. I usually combo with this move, like in the middle of my combos. Really fast move. I recommend using this move in the middle of your combos. So, yeah. Down tilt, you can use it for the end, the middle, and the beginning of your combos. You know, but good 52 Pugs. damage right there. Um, it does Pugs. eight damage each Pugs. time you hit them with it. You can slime cancel with it. Pugs. Pugs. Very good. Next, we're going over his uh, charged attacks on the ground. Pugs. First, we got. Four strong. Four strong is pretty good when it comes to killing. Um, does 14 damage each time you hit them with it. And you can do combos like this with it. You know, to nice 42 damage. But I wouldn't recommend doing that because... I oh, don't know, it's just a waste of slime. You can do so much more damage if you know how to combo. You've seen me spike people with this move in my montage. Moves. 
and stuff like that. It's very good when it comes to spiking people. Nothing really else. Pods. Pods. Next we got up strong. Up strong is probably his best killing move. Um, does 14 damage. Pods. It's uh. Pods. It, you can go. You can travel a long distance with it. It's probably one of the best up strongs in the game. Because it's so strong, it has four different hitboxes, the top, which is the strongest, the left, the right, and the bottom. Those are all the hitboxes that it has, it has. And you can do like up there, I mean up throw and up strong, that's a kill confirm. Pods. Pods. Yeah, that's very good. Now I'm gonna go over his light aerials. First we got Nair. Nair is probably his biggest hitbox move. It's good for combo, um, good for combo starters. Like, you can combo into itself. I, I'm kinda rusty on it, cause I've been doing it a while. You know, stuff like that. Pause. It's like a good string. Pause. And... Pause. It's very good for just combo in general. Or like spacing your opponents. Next we got four there. Border is I barely use this move. This is probably my least used move. It's good for combo starting, I guess, but I wouldn't recommend it because you have other like good combo starters. I would probably do it if they're in front of you and you don't want to use Nair. But that's about it. Really. Pods. Pods. Next up, we got back air. Back air does 13 damage. It used to do 15, so it's not I don't know what happened. You can do turnaround grabs with this as a combo. And that's about it, really, when it comes to comboing with back air. It's mainly for spacing, and if you want, like, Good damage without comboing. Like Pods. safe good damage. Pods. Uh, and next we got down air. Down air is just a spike. Uh, I usually, I sometimes use it when it comes to uh, edge guarding. As you see in one of my montages or like one of my clips. Pods. So you mainly want to use it for ending combos. Pods. Yeah, some simple stuff like Pods. that. Next we got up air. Up air is mainly used for an up throw combo. So basically like juggling your opponent. You've probably seen it in my Rocco combos part two. Like the second one. The only problem with this combo is if they DI out of it, I think, then you Pods. can't do the combo. Pods. But yeah, it's very strong when they when it comes to juggling. It's just very good. You can do drag downs with it. Upwards. Um, you can do drag downs with it and just Pods. simple jumping combos with it, which is very effective. It helps me win games when I'm like in, when I'm like in disadvantage or if I'm losing a lot. You could just do combos like that. 
Next we're going over his charged aerials. First we got four strong. I use this move a lot. Um, this is like if you're in the air and they're shielding near the ledge, you can just forge strong them in the air, and it'll be they'll be diz dizzy, and then you could just forge strong on the ground. The 16 damage, pretty good knockback. But I recommend using the move if you're trying to get space and stuff like that, or trying to play neutral. Another move to use neutral with is down strong. You can also use it to edge guard if you're like, because Rocco's not really good at edge guarding. He doesn't have the moves to edge guard. But this move, you can really, it can really affect. Them. Because if you down strong in the air while they're off stage, it's kind of like another way for them to be confused on where they're gonna go. You know, like it gives them less options to go somewhere. You can also use it for um, when you're getting juggled. You can just down strong, and then they can't juggle you anymore because they're in a tumble or a hitting animation so you can just go back on the ground and like spawn your spunky or whatever spunky! Well, that was convenient um it does 11 damage it's very good and you can luckily you'll probably hit uh sage spikes with it i've did a lot and that's about it with down strong in the air. Next is up strong in the air. It's it's all right. It can't really kill. I mean, like it can at really really high percents, but that's about it really. I would recommend it if you're if you're the type of person to like go for up B slime cancels something like this oh, I can't hit it yeah, do stuff like that um But yeah, that's it for his like normals and stuff like that. Now we're gonna go over his grabs. His grab, best grab that he has up throw because of this combo right here. Yeah, that combo, it's really good if they don't know how to DI it out but they could accidentally di di in or not di at all and then you could just do that combo it's pretty easy to drop the combo but if you get the hang of it you'll probably do better with the combo next is forward throw i used to use this combo a lot Oh no, I was playing worse Pause. players back then, so they would just fall for it. You do combos like those. Very good. Uh, next we got back throw. You mainly want to use back throw for... Uh, Ledge trapping if you don't want to, if they're not holding you, like you could just take them back off stage. Next, we got yeah, you can't really combo. Next, we got um, down throw. You can do combos Pause. with it, like dash attack and the slime cancel. Pause. Like I just did. Uh, 
That combo is probably not true. But, you know, we could do stuff like that with it. The main problem that, that Rocco has when it comes to his throws, or just in general, is that he has no kill throws. So, his kill throws are probably up to, like, 220. <clears throat> so, you can't really do kill kill throws with this character. Pods! Pods! Now we're going to his specials. His first special is Spunky. Uh, you can grab with you can grab Spunky and throw it at people. Keep note that if you throw Spunky, it does 12 damage, and not only that, but he stays. So when I hit someone with spunky without throwing them it does let me show you it does 10 damage and they just disappear he just disappears but if i throw spunky if i throw spunky it does 12 damage and he stays so you could keep that in mind you can also combo with spunky you can do stuff like oops Pods. 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 Cool stuff like pods. that. Oh, I'm sorry if the announcer keeps saying pause. Um, it's kind of annoying to me too. Uh, next we got down B. You can put Spunky on down B. The jackhammer. Uh, it's very good. It's very good stage control. You can combo with it too. It's just kind of hard to combo with it on purpose. It's a very good stage control. Like very good when it comes to stage control. And um, you can do down slime B down B. But I wouldn't recommend it because it can easily, you can easily like have the jackhammer can easily fall off stage, and you pretty much wasted a slime meter. And slime in this game is very, very important, like one of the most important things in the game. Next move is side B. The 16 damage you can do combos with it. Like slime. That four tilt wasn't true. Um, See ya. Pods. Pods. I mainly use this combo. I, mean, I mainly use this move when it comes to uh, getting back on stage. And also, if you're having a hard time getting back on stage, because that's also. That's probably Rocco's worst. That's probably Rocco's most weakness is he can't get back on stage. Then you can just try to grab ledge, double jump, and then side B, and then just run to the middle of the stage. Um, but yeah, that's what I use it for. I just use it to edge guard. I meant. Use it to recover. Same thing with Uppy. Just, just use it to recover, bro. I, I see so many people trying to go for Uppy into slime cancel up strong in the air. Like I just see that so much. It's like, bro, just, just Uppy when you come to recover. Just recover with it, bro. Cause it's like, when if you miss, like say. You guys are on your last stock, and you have like 150%. He has 150%. And you have a chance for up B, slime, cancel, up strong. And you do it. What if you miss? And you only have one slime meter now. You, you can't slime burst, so you're pretty much dead next time he hits you. So, just when it comes to... What I'm trying to say is when it comes to... Uppy, just recover with it. 
And that is it with this combo guide. I mean, Rocco guide. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I will be making more guides. Probably like Garfield next or SpongeBob. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments on if it helped or not. And also let me know who you want next as a montage person. Do you want Rocco part seven or eight however much do you want garfield part three spongebob part three like who do you want just let me know if you want to beat rocco i have two to three ways to beat him one play ang reptile spongebob uh april neil squidward Or who's the last person? Oh yeah, and Cora. If you wanna, or or Garfield, those those seven, yeah. Play those seven characters, and you'll be able to beat him. If you want to, or number two, you can. You have to make sure he doesn't get back on stage make just make sure he does not make it back on stage because he can win by so much but it might not matter because you just throwing him off stage you kept him there for like 30 seconds and he dies you know what i'm saying like if he's not if the, if the rocco's player is not using side b or a b correctly then you got easy you got an easy win and make sure he doesn't use his spunky and jackhammer if he is abusing it which pretty sure every rocco should um then find a move with the character that can Break Spunky and uh, the Jackhammer. Make sure you make sure it breaks both of them. At least a Jackhammer. And that is it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.